For what purpose does the gentleman from New Jersey seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 7948, the Tribal Health Data Improvement Act of 2020, as amended. The clerk will report the, tri uh, the, clerk will report the title of the bill. Union Calendar Number 446, H.R. 7948, a bill to amend the Public Health Service Act with respect to the collection and availability of health data with respect to Indian tribes and for other purposes. The cl uh, pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Pallone, and the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Walden, will each control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New Jersey. And Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on H.R. 7948. Without objection, the gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. And Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, the health of American Indian and Alaska Native populations lags behind all other races in the United States. Economic adversity and poor social conditions have contributed to disproportionate disease burden, lower life expectancies, and other health inequalities in tribal communities. Tragically, tribal members are expected to live 5.5 fewer years than other races. And now the coronavirus pandemic has further highlighted these long-standing health inequalities. According to CDC data, more than one-third of non-elderly American Indians and Alaska Natives are at high risk of developing a serious illness resulting from a COVID-19 infection compared with one-fifth of white non-elderly adults. Today, we're taking an important step in improving health outcomes by improving data access for tribal epidemiology centers. These centers manage regional public health information systems, disease prevention and control programs, and coordinate with other public health authorities in the collection and study of epidemiology, uh, epidemiological data. None of these functions work if federal, state, and local partners are not sharing relevant data in a secured manner. H.R. 7948, the Tribal Health Data Improvement Act, ensures that tribal nations are equipped with the necessary public health data to operate public health programs and improve health outcomes within their communities. It does this by clarifying the federal role in collection and availability of health data with respect to Indian tribes. The legislation also mandates ways of improving health statistics reporting with respect to Indian tribes, such as requiring the secretary to release all applicable public health data on tribal epidemiology centers within 100 days, 180 days of enactment, and requiring the CDC to expand and improve their assistance to states with respect to sharing data with tribal entities. Finally, the bill reauthorizes the National Center for Health Statistics with additional funding for the new programs that are established by the bill. I want to thank Representatives Gianforte, Lujan, Rogers, Mullen, O'Halloran, and Ruiz for the excellent bipartisan work on this legislation, and I urge my colleagues to support the bill and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I rise today in strong support of H.R. 7948 the Tribal Health Data Improvement Act, introduced by my Energy and Commerce Committee colleagues, Gianforte, Ruiz, Rogers, O'Halloran, and Luan. This is really important public health legislation, and it addresses some chronic challenges that are faced by tribal nations and tribal epidemiology centers as they try to gain access to critical federal health care and public health surveillance data. Obtaining these data is critical for engaging in preventive public health work and combating current health crises in American Indian and Alaska Native communities. However, structural barriers to accessing data have been especially problematic during the COVID-19 pandemic, which tragically has disproportionately impacted these very communities. In order to ensure that tribal nations and tribal epidemiology centers have access to the data necessary to accomplish public health priorities, this legislation requires the Secretary of Health and Human Services to create a data sharing strategy that takes into consideration the recommendation of the Secretary's Tribal Advisory Committee. In addition, in reauthorizing the CDC's National Center for Health Statistics, the bill requires the Secretary to make public health surveillance data available to the Indian Health Service, Indian tribes, 
tribal organizations, and tribal epidemiology centers, so long as the data requested for use is consistent with federal law and, of course, obligations. The Secretary must also consult with Indian tribes, tribal organizations, urban Indian organizations, and the Tribal Health Advisory Group of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to develop guidelines for state and local health agencies to improve the quality and accuracy of birth and death records of American Indians and Alaska Natives. By improving the sharing of data between the federal government and the tribes, this important bill would help address the health disparities in American Indian and Alaska Native communities. So I urge a yes vote on this legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to uh, uh, yield such time as he may consume to a, a leader on tribal issues. And I should add that you are as well, Madam Speaker, a leader on these tribal issues. Uh, the gentleman from New Mexico, Mr. Lujan. The gentleman from New Mexico is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. During this COVID-19 pandemic that has already killed more than 200,000 Americans, it's crucial that the CDC and state health departments are sharing essential life-saving public health data from tribal epidemiology centers to protect the health of the people they serve. Techs, like any state or local health departments, are legally entitled to access the same data but for the first months of the public health emergency, this data was withheld despite the urging of tribal leaders, myself, and fellow members of the Energy and Commerce Committee. This data, including information on COVID-19 testing, positive case numbers, contact tracing, and more, is essential for tribes and techs to protect the health and well-being of the communities they serve. That's why Representative Gianforte and I introduced the Bipartisan Tribal Health Data Improvement Act with the support of the National Indian Health Board. While the CDC director has fulfilled the commitment he made to me to share COVID-related data with all the techs, there are still barriers to accessing other important data sets that are crucial to protecting the public health during and after this pandemic. This important legislation makes it clear that the Department of Health and Human Services and state health departments are required to share data with tribal health authorities. And it includes additional funding to make this happen. This legislation is about justice and living up to the federal government's legal responsibility. It would help save lives as we continue working to defeat this virus. Tribes and techs are working hard to protect public health in their communities, and it is their right to access the CDC data to do so. I look forward to seeing the House pass this legislation, and I'll urge my colleagues in the Senate to act with the same urgency. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves the balance of his time? Uh, no, I, I reserve at this time. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized. Madam Speaker, I want to I want to thank my uh, colleagues, especially my friend from New Mexico, for his leadership on this legislation. I would uh, just say they've all worked very hard on this. It's extraordinarily important to pass this, and and with that, uh, I would yield back the balance of my the time. The gentleman from Oregon yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Jersey. Is I recognized. also uh, urge support of the bill and yield back the balance. The of The gentleman my time. from New Jersey yields back the balance of his time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 7948 as amended? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The bill is passed. And without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.